Welcome to the Grad 2020 Youth Interview. Uh, would you care to tell us a little bit about yourself? All right, so my name is Ashwa. I'm 17 years old and I'm graduating from NDSS this year. And yeah, I really enjoy reading and writing and doing track and field and basketball which I did throughout my high school career. Hi, my name is Tia. I graduated from Aspen Grove School and I'm really into music. I've uh, done lots of uh, musical activities in my life. I really enjoy classical piano and uh, in school I joined uh, my band playing clarinet and also um, bass guitar. And I've been at this church for a very long time, ever since I was born. We've been here and um, I really enjoyed growing up in the youth here, uh, growing up with uh, joining the worship team. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be here and happy to be one of the FBC grants. I'm quite a quiet person. I like, I tend to be alone in most things, like in, like in school activities. I like yeah. being alone. Yeah. I like to read, watch TV. Coloring, coloring books, take photos, yes. which I've been doing a lot lately. Just when I've been outside, it's mm -hmm. pretty fun. All right, well, I'm Kevin Fraser. I, uh, for hobbies and that, I really like going fishing, especially with my uh, father and my younger brother. Mm -hmm. I also, most of the time, enjoy driving. And mm -hmm. probably something that I enjoy a bit too much would be. Uh, video games and that, honestly, <laughs> nice. probably too much. When I was in grade 11, like my school program of production, the teacher like like asked if I wanted to be this assistant stage manager. Wow. Besides a few mishaps, I did it pretty well. I would say the SHAD program was one of the most memorable opportunities. I was learning about different STEAM, different STEAM topics and different entrepreneurship topics. And the goal was just really to grow. They mm -hmm. wanted you to grow as a person. They wanted you to learn as much as you could. Different topics you wouldn't learn in school. Mm -hmm. And we did that while presenting this project that we made. So my group, we made a project called Innovates where we wanted to find a way where you could grocery shop without getting all the packaging and also find a way to use all of the vegetables and fruits that are thrown away from the grocery store. Our band went to Cuba for a big trip and that's probably one of my best memories that I've had because it really opened me to a world of traveling where it's my first trip without my parents and we went to uh, orphanages to uh, play for them and also to uh, many different schools there and it was a really awesome experience. I would say he's been putting me in positions where I've had to grow, use my voice and grow my confidence. So it started in grade nine where someone approached me and wanted me to join Model United Nations. You have to represent a country and you have to kind of debate for that country in front of hundreds of people. And so that was kind of the first step to growing my voice. And since then I've been doing different entrepreneurship programs and leadership programs that I feel he put in my path mm -hmm. so that I would become more confident. So Tia, mm -hmm. if you could go back to yourself four years ago, what's one piece of advice that you would give yourself? I would tell myself just to have time for studying and also have say yes to all the times when people ask to hang out and make memories because I think that's what's most I guess that's what's most memorable. I guess that's also advice for my future self, just to not take university too, too seriously and to still find time for uh, hanging out and making great connections. Um, probably tell myself to try and get past being anxious and just speak up in class when I have a question. I would say to my younger self, I would tell her not to be don't become comfortable with normal because mm. normal never stays the same. Mm. Life is always constant. So if I if I was more aware and open-minded that life's not going to stay the same, I feel like I would have adjusted to the change better. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's something she should have known. Yeah. If I could, I'd want myself not to procrastinate mm -hmm. and ask help from the teachers right away if I was struggling, mm -hmm. which I slowly started to learn to do this year. 
So next year I'm planning to go to Columbia Bible College, which is in Abbotsford, and I'm doing a program called Quest, where I get to go on 40 plus outdoor trips and uh, adventures, as well as studying with um, a group of a small group of friends. Uh, there's, I think there's 30 of us, so I'm really hoping that we'll be able to do it in the fall, um, and we'll be doing biblical studies as well as all of our adventures. University, mm -hmm. I'll probably be studying something computer related at like VIU or UVic, somewhere local. Well, my plan is to hopefully become a teacher. What type of teacher would you want to be? Elementary, uh, an elementary school teacher. So next year I plan to go to, well starting in September, mm -hmm. I plan to go to Camosun College for nursing. Nice. And I'm going to use nursing as a pre-med before I hopefully become an obstetrician or a pediatrician. 